Grr, readings, I'm Caffeine Rage, and I'm back with more Betrayer. Last time we landed on the beach in a very messed up ship and got to this point. We're still trying to figure out exactly what's going on in the story, and I'm on my way to recover the error from the last episode. I'm, and I hurt another Spaniard in the nearby area as well. Let's see where we're actually needed to head. Oh, right there. Sounds like it's close to if the volume of the noise is anything to go by. Here's our arrow. So, let's see. Yeah, it looks like it's just over this ridge. Yeah, I'm recording these in a batch, so I haven't exactly gotten the feedback from the first episode yet. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And if you're seeing this, you there was at least some positive feedback. Otherwise, I would have dropped that. Drop, would have dropped the game like a hot potato and quickly record something different. And we have something here. A flute. Is that what we're after? No? Ah. The remains of a soldier who... Our, the remains of a, of a soldier are partly buried in the loose soil. The cause of death is not obvious. Listen again. Oh yeah, that definitely has to be related to the distance. So it's off in that direction. Near the Spaniard, of course. On, also, I want to hear some feedback on, should I continue with the very muted colors? Should I go full black and white, or should I go Skyrim colors? Personally, I do like the muted colors. It makes it feel more like a almost a dream. Oh. Okay, we're fine. We'll go back over the hillside. But it, it's completely up to you guys, because I do want to try to be a little bit more accepted of feedback. So let's see. Sounds like it's over that way. It's been a few days since I've done my playtesting of this, so... Oh, there's a Spaniard. Oh crap, is that two of them? Yes, yes that is. So let's try to get into the bush. I'm not exactly sure how they see, if it's shadows ex ex affect anything or if it's just, you know, a cone of sight and that's it with the percentage based on distance. So we'll. Oh. oh, he saw me. Oh, he shot me. And I alerted the second one as well. Oh, that was easier. I'll go ahead and drink some water, though. A musket. That's going to be really handy. So we now have a pistol and a musket on top of the longbow, and I'm going to go up here and refill my water skin since we're pretty close to water barrel. Otherwise, it uh, feels a little bit too risky. I still have one charge, but you know it's not that much. And I completely missed a note here. So, what do we have here? This morning we can find no trace of Tabitha Markley. The sentries saw no one coming and going, coming or going, nor was there any sign of a struggle. Even her sister, asleep in the same bed, was not roused. It could only be some foul sorcery. Oh boy, that doesn't sound good. So now we'll continue on. 
Yeah, we have to go over that way. At least we have these two Spaniards down so we could kind of run a little bit. Okay. We are getting closer though, and there's a chest right there. Oh, there's a Spaniard as well. Normally I would criticize the game for being lacking in enemy variety, but uh, since this feels almost like a nightmare scene, at least for the time being, I can understand there being, you know, a lack of variety in enemies. Oh. I want to wait for him to stop moving so I could try to hit him. <laughs> oh, well, that was simple enough. I right, hear another one. What was that? It sounded like something went past me. Am I even going the right direction? Eh, yeah, sorta. Of. Just try to sneak up on the Spaniard. Across the hill. <laughs> and that's another one down. Gold doubloon. And a rusty musket. Birkin. Let's take a look at what we have. Yeah, so far, n not too much in weaponry. Uh, mostly very low value stuff. Oh, sounds like we're getting closer. I did notice that the environments are pretty small, so it's not too much of a walking simulator, at least. Yeah, we're definitely on the right track. We're pretty close as well. Well, I hear something. Oh, is this it? Grave is unmarked. Well, that's not helpful. But whatever we need is pretty close from the sounds of that. Oh. Among the stones you find the remains of a woman. The strands of long dark hair are still attached to the, to the moldering skull. There's a bullet hole in her forehead. Well, I'm going to guess that's the cause of death. Dug up a valuable looking distinctive necklace of golden topaz. Here, nothing else than the light. So now we head back to the fort, I believe. We'll just fast travel there. Save us a little bit of time. And we'll hit the shop. Uh, not literally hit the shop. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Didn't mean to do that. Let's see. Loot. We have 250 loot, which doesn't really give us a lot of options. Can pick up a couple arrows, which. Probably want to go remiss. And we can always upgrade our bow. Let's see, what is our current bow is 30 damage with a 20% deflect change, which is just nasty. Even though it's not a huge damage up, I think 
decreasing our deflect chance is very useful. So we'll do that and equip that and do I just drag that here to sell or yeah. So there we go. A shoddy longbow. All right, before we go into the darkness, notice the door's open. That's actually as far as I've gotten. We have the ghost to talk to. Whoa, that's not a good sound. No, the ghost isn't here. So this is officially as far as I got before. I was like, maybe the graves we saw before, at least I think that's what was in this playthrough. I had a failed episode that can really put out. I noticed there were some graves beside the fort, though, that were glinting, so and maybe where we're heading. And that's right there. Ah, maybe inside the fort, but we'll hit these nonetheless. Let's see. Nathan Lambton, murdered by a Spaniard. Emin Purse, killed fighting the Spanish. I have a feeling that there's going to be a theme going here. Edward Barnes, at age six, a gentle, a Sweden gentle son, died of sickness. Okay, didn't get killed by the Spaniards. Way to break the trend. Here lies Mary Baines, tw age 24, loving mother and wife. Died of sickness. Matthew Haley Ford, ship's boy, age 12. Found dead along a path. We'll just blame the Spaniards. But yeah, we need to go inside the fort. That's unfortunate, but at least there's nothing too close by. Awesome. Real color banding over there. It's kind of, of a weird artifact. But then again, I'm not running this game on the highest settings. I uh, couldn't actually run it on the highest settings, which is kind of just depressing. Especially recording, it seemed to really eat into my frame rate a lot more than usual. Okay, so where do we go from here? Okay. Oh, oh, there he is. Do you recognize this topaz necklace? Oh, of course, now you remember. Wait, uh, who shot her? Not very devoted if he... I mean, the trial would take longer, but eventually he would get it done. Okay, now we have to go off in the dark. Yeah, there's some weird color banding going on. Not sure how it's going to play on the video, but the trees are just causing all sorts of color banding. Yeah. Can't really see all that far either, so I'm trying to take it a little bit slow. I don't want to run into more Spaniards. Oh, I hear something. Oh, a chest kind of cool that they uh, I know it's breaking the immersion a little bit but having the chest you know give off a little bit of a sound oh crap oh 
<laughs> okay. Whew. It's not like I wish there were Spaniards. <laughs> Probably should have swapped to the gun there, but... Uh, it, they didn't actually hurt me all that much. Yeah, wasn't sure if I had another arrow that I could pick up. Uh, is that where we have to go? Anything around here? No? Don't like the sound of that. Especially don't like the sound of that. Whoa! <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> Turn around and one's right in my face. Okay, let's examine this. Need to be careful I'm out of health. Oh. Oh. And he's down. Ah, okay, that's what I needed to do. Yeah, force of habit. I keep trying to reload a uh, uh, reload a longbow. Don't know why. Okay, it's been clear of the corruption. So sounds like we have to do that again. I want to go back to the fort though to replenish my water. Because that kind of sucked. There we go. And... Uh, well, since we're here, we'll... Grab a couple more arrows. And I'm good on... My other ammo. Oh, another grave. Re Reginald Mellet, a true gentleman. Oh, we're filling out the notes, I bet. As we continue along. Waiting for things to sneak up on me once again. <laughs> oh. Okay, it's down here. box out in the middle of nowhere. Whoa. Damn, glad I healed. That was a trap box. Now we just gotta be a little bit more careful because eh, not full health and only have one charge of the health of the water flask remaining. Sounds like it's dead ahead. Whatever it is. Uh, I hear it. John Scamver. Scamver. Killed by a Spaniard. Sh shocking. So, are you a good spirit? Sundered? Defiled, robbed of my head by a demon who means to wear my skull as an ornament. Well, it is getting close to Christmas. Uh, sorry. That's a very time-sensitive joke. I'm recording this just before Christmas time. <laughs> so I guess we'll continue on for a little bit longer. I hear, oh, I was going to say I hear something, but it's a chest. Getting a fair amount of loot. 
I don't see where it says our total. Oh, there it is. Total loot two six two thirty eight. So we're doing all right, and have a lot of clues. Victim unknown causes and victim shot in the head with a fair amount of people. Uh, the graves are all consolidated into one. I'm just clicking through this because it's pretty much what we said or saw before, but just to, you know, count it as red so anything that we miss, we can find it easier. Okay, is it this way? Oh, yeah, it's right there. It said demon, so I'm assuming this is going to be fun. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Oh, is that it? Oh, it's another uh, one of the totems. Okay, the corruption's gone. No fight. Okay, looks like it's down here. Just a couple more minutes and we'll be wrapping things up. I do want to try to finish this if I can, though. Whoa. That is very hard to dodge if I'm not already moving. Okay, so do we have somebody else back at the fort now? Hmm. That sounds like it's back towards the fort. Yeah, that sounds like it is at the fort. Mm, just the direction, so we'll fast travel there. Oh yeah, I called that one. We'll heal up, and we'll see what the new guy has to say. Then we'll wrap things up. Where did you see him last? We met, we met by chance near Dodds Hill. It was nearly dark. He said that he found a Spaniard encampment and showed me where it was. Gregory Ward. Okay, so I'm guessing we've found uh, the other guy. Okay, that sounds pretty close. Well, do this and then wrap things up because it sounds like we're right on top of it. Once again, still have no idea what the hell is going on still. Oh, shit. Ah, he let a shot. Oh, damn smart skeleton. Probably another one around here. No? And 
and I didn't reload my pistol or musket, which is stupid. You can see why I commented that these are basically one per battle. Because there is... Oh, <laughs> that musket t packs a punch, but it definitely takes an age to load. Okay, we are going to wrap things up here, though. And we'll continue on next time. Oh, still quite the mystery of what's going on, but it's fascinating, huh? Hopefully. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you again for more of Betrayed, or Betrayer, next time.